three, two, one. This is a recall Gavin Newsom video. I really don't like to do these kinds of videos, and I'm not going to let you know what city this is in, not to embarrass the city, but this should embarrass the governor and his entire everything with the national emergency, the fact that all the leaders have been dishonest because they haven't been able to solve one problem, the homeless crisis, and they expect us to believe all the other stuff that they have to say. I want you to see this. I'm here at the laundromat. This is the third laundromat I've been to to do my laundry. The first man, or the first laundromat that I went to, there's a man that was a complete scumbag without a mask, and I decided to leave, although he was the only person in there, and he was one of those scumbags that the governor should have been able to help by getting him off the street, getting him into a job, getting him a paycheck, and then he could go on his own to pay his own rent. But right when we were about to help those people, the lie of the pandemic and the stunt to crush business, all for the purpose so you could let out criminals, so the criminals know that if they do get popped, nothing's going to happen. And I want you to see the result, the result of why this is all happening. Now, here's a man who just left his car, and he was burning this, burning that, and check this out. Uh, you could probably say, see what that is, and I'm not going to touch this or this bag, but look at it. There's at least, I could see five needles. Now, let's go around here to this area of scumbaggedness that the governor... You can't help the homeless people, right? The guy has dog food here, or the can of beans, and here's one man's camp out right here. Now look at this. This is where a man camps out when it's 30 degrees, when it's cold and raining, and you're closing down business, and you're saying, hey, everybody, you guys lose your jobs. Well, what do you think is going to happen to all those people that lose their jobs and don't pay their rent? They're going to end up living on their own put middle class people in the same class as poor people. This is what's happening. This is just absolutely not only hideous, atrocious, and absolutely despicable, but it's proof that our governor doesn't have the ability to solve a simple crisis, the homeless crisis, before it became an emergency. The fact that you guys can't solve the homeless crisis, how do you guys expect us to believe that you guys are going to be able to solve the health crisis? And this is becoming hand in hand because they don't have PPE equipment like that man who's at the laundromat without a mask, forcing me to come here. Now the second place that I went to to go do my laundry, there was people swimming on the concrete to the point where a policeman drove down the street and I flagged him down so he could take a look at something similar to this but without the clothes but with people, four or five people swimming on the concrete on those needles. It's absolutely terrible the fact that you even have states that are, it's one thing to decriminalize it but to, to allow it is pretty much as equivalent to leaving the, the union. It's the same thing. I mean, look at this. Do I, need to, do I need to explain? And I could do these kinds of reports all day. I prefer not to because I don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. But look at this. And I'm going to let you take one last look at this. Okay, I don't want to embarrass the city that this is in. Because I see them trying to crack down all the time on this. Just look at this. And this is going on while I'm waiting for my laundry when I should be home watching Special Report. I'm just not only... It's not that I'm upset. It's that I've called this action long before the national emergency. That this was the national emergency. And if this isn't solved... It's going to lead to other national emergencies. 
And I think the Democrats, not only are Joe Biden 1989 plagiarists that go on people's websites and YouTubes, but I think they deliberately attack people's good ideas to sway it the other way to make it worse. This You can't get worse than this. And in 2018, I was talking about solutions to this issue. And they've closed down everything. You can't even use the restroom at a McDonald's. So where do you expect these people to use the restroom? I mean, look at it. We're at five minutes. I'm going to leave the take right here. And I'm not going to say what city this is. Because I don't want to embarrass the city. The fact that we hear governor, govern, congressional leaders not pushing a stimulus package while these numbers are going up, forcing us outside when we can be at home. All the times we've bailed out the auto companies, the banks, and the government, and you guys are sitting there crying about 600 or $800. You don't even want to help people with $2,000 that they've lost. Minimum, each person has lost twelve to 25000 if you're in the middle class. And then the upper class have lost more. And what's going to happen is if they can't pay their bills, you're going to get more and more of this when you should have less and less of this. And it just seems like the middle class has been crushed to now where there's just upper class and lower class. And the middle class is the backbone. These cans that this man actually have here to eat, were donated somehow. Somehow he got his hands on them. So if you were to exclude this mess without those cans, there would be other people that are trying to help this crisis, and Governor Newsom should be recalled immediately. Number one, a way you guys could have helped people get money in their hands right away were people that were already in the Medicare program with those cards. You could have simply put rental assistance in there a couple of hundred two to three hundred dollars a month just to help people pay their rent and that would have helped before any stimulus on the state level number two this idea of medicare for all is a lie i'm going to prove to you that it is a lie right now in this tape it's a lie because people that have medicare currently you have to earn only fifteen hundred dollars a month if you go over that number, they won't give you that insurance. So the solution to that problem is simply extending that number to $3,000 so people can qualify. You would get at least half to 60% of the people. It'd be Medicare for most. And they know this. They'll take away your Medicare if you make more than $1,500. So they're lying to you. Everything that they talk about is a diversion, and it's dishonest. And here's the proof. I don't have to write a book to sell and hold out like Bob Woodworth in six months to give you two or three ideas that could have solved this issue without the stimulus. The stimulus should be right way before the election. And you guys held out on that information to help people while these numbers are going up simply to change the results of the election is direct domestic interference and it's proof here's some more proof you want to see it you guys want to let out crooks and Don Burns he doesn't want to let out some of these crooks but you guys are forcing him to let out crooks that he's constantly beating down this crisis why is he in the middle of this? When you, Governor Newsom, should be finding simple solutions while you're having dinner with good wine. Usually when you're drinking good wine, you find good ideas. You can write them down and say, hey, I got a good idea on how to help people, but you don't. And any good idea that you do get, you either hold out, don't use, or get on the airplane to go give to our adversaries. He should be recalled. You should just resign before you get recalled. Look at this, this report. And you know what? If there was a man here 
I might not have been able to do this report because he would not have been wearing a mask. You could see that there's no proof of mask anywhere in this thing. I could go open up that bag here just to go and look. I don't really want to go any further than this on this report. I'm not going to walk over this. It's just absolutely, absolutely hideous and atrocious that a state government could do this to a city and not help a city while you guys are trying to hurt cities at the same time. It just tells me that you're you're just dishonest from the national level to the state level to the local level. This crisis, you had 50,000 of this people in New York City, 50,000 people in Los Angeles. That's 100,000 of this scenes right here just in two cities. And I'm going to leave the take right there. YouTube.com, Jamestown, California.